belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has given us the opportunity to come to his house. We ask Allah to accept our ibadah and forgive our shortcomings. We ask Allah to grant us the khair of this day and protect us from all types of evil. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran الَّذِينَ تَتَوَفَّاهُمُ الْمَلَائِكَةُ طَيِّبِينَ وَالَّذِينَ تَتَوَفَّاهُمُ الْمَلَائِكَةُ ظَالِمِينَ in these ayat, Allah Azza wa Jal speaks about the work of the angel of death, how he approaches a believer and how he approaches a person who has done wrong. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decided the lifespan of every individual. As it is mentioned in the Quran, Allah Azza wa Jal says, وَمَا تَدْرِي نَفْسٌ مَاذَا تَكْسِبُ غَدَى وَمَا تَدْرِي نَفْسٌ بِأَيِّ أَرْضٍ تموت. That no one knows what he is going to do tomorrow. What's going to happen to him? How the situation will turn out. And no one knows on which piece of land he's going to die. So this is in the ilm of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descends these orders to the angels who are the workers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what is their work? Their work is to obey what Allah commands them. وَيَفْعَلُونَ مَا يُؤْمَرُونَ They are told to do whatever, they are told to continue whatever command has been given to them. And then when a person's time of departure comes in, this information is granted to the angel of death. In the riwayat of Musnad al-Bazzar, on the night of Mi'raj, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he was passing by different angels, different prophets, so he came across an angel who was sitting and there was a, a, um, a big ball right between his two knee, between his knees. And he was a book that was he was looking inside. And the entire time he was focused there. So فَقُلْتُ Jibril مَنْ هَذَا I asked Jibreel, who is this? Who is this angel? قَالَ مَلَكُ الْمَوْتِ This is the angel of death. And as soon as a person's time is up, the command of Allah Azza wa Jal is given and at that point the angel of death comes and he takes out soul from that person's body. Now the question comes in that when a person is dying, there's not only one person dying at one point. There are many people dying at the same time. There are many people departing from this world at the same time. So how does this angel of death manages to take out all the people whose time has come around the entire globe to take out their soul at that same time if the time has been decreed. It is simple. There is a wired connection with every single human being with his soul and he just needs to press that button. And it's easy for us to understand in today's world and technology that a person is able to remotely access as many things. Remotely, he's able to access so many things. He's able to turn off, turn on machines remotely. He's able to sit and turn on different things remotely. So it's easy for us to understand now, but back in those days, remotely was not a thing. There was no such thing done remotely. So for us to understand is much easy. Is You know, at the same time, everybody is connected with this angel of death. And as soon as, as the hadith describes... The angel of death, the Prophet Wasallam, asked him, how do you manage to take everybody's soul at the same time who has been decreed to take out, who, is dec- who has been decreed to die at that same time? He said, it's easy. When I look at his name, ilayhi, ruhu I just have to look at that man who is about to die, whose time has expired, and that's it. His soul is out. His time has approached. And this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes in the Qur'an. That when that angel comes to take your soul, 
إذا جاء أجلهم لا يستأخرون ساعة ولا يستقدمون. That your time has come, your time has expired in this world, and now that angel has come and take your soul. So a person, this is why it is recommended that a person should be in the constant remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala throughout his entire day. Because you don't know when that angel of death is going to look at us and our time has expired. And if that time comes in a stage where we are busy with something that is khair, then that will be our decision moving forward. So this is why it is a moment of reflection. The angel of death has been appointed. And as Allah Azza wa Jal says in the Quran, that فِيهَا يُفْرَقُ كُلُّ أَمْرٍ حَكِيمٍ أَمْرًا مِنْ عِنْدِنَا That on that night, which على اقتلاف الأقوال, the 15th night of Sha'ban or Naylat al-Qadr, depending on the opinions of the Mufassirun. But however, one night of the year, where all the names of a person who's going to die till the next year has been given to the angel of death. Now this has been given. These are the people who are going to die until the next year. And the angel of death is looking inside to see whose time has come so that the angel come and takes his soul. And once the soul has been taken, it has been granted to the angels of Rahmah if he's a believer. And it's been granted to the angels of Adab if he's a person dies in... In, in the anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or a non-believer. And then they are able to take it to their destination. فَإِنَّ لِلْمَلِكِ الْمَوْتِ أَعْوَانٌ As the hadith mentioned that for the angel of death, there are helpers. And these are the angels of Rahma and the angels of Adab. And they all go with the angel of death, whose ever soul has come, is a believer, handed over to the angels of Rahma. And if he's a non-believer or dies in the anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then it's handed over to the angel of adab. So that's how the departure of a person happens from this world and he meets Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The question is that how much have I prepared for myself to go and depart from this world where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to be happy. That's why every single day is a new chance for us. Every single day, it's a new life. It's a new commitment. It's a new start. Where a person is able to fix what he has done in the past, that is, in ple- that is against the orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask Allah to grant us the strength. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us amongst the righteous ones. Ameen, ya Rabbul Alameen. Subhanallah, wa bihamdihi, subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika, wa nishadu illa ilaha illa anta nistaghfiru wa natubu.